Speaking of air, why is there no air conditioning in this low budget bus? I'm fed up. You should behave like someone your age. How do you know my age? It's obvious. Run, we're falling behind. Are you seriously going to make us all sleep in the same cabin? What happened to privacy for a lady? This place is unbelievably horrible. These sheets look like they haven't been washed in months. That's because it hasn't been washed in months. Who is in charge of this camp? Some urgent changes are needed. Good morning. We couldn't sleep well. This place sucks. Who is your manager? I need to talk to him right now. I am the manager. I am in charge. <sighs> you are competing for a million dollars, so you have two options. Accept everything as it is, or leave this camp right now. Whatever. On the way. See you in the finish line. Ah! Goodbye, loser. See you at the finish line. All yours. And why did I receive three votes? I guess because you need to improve your attitude. Screw you! Who cares? This is more important. What are we going to do here with all this time? Hey, Carol. How are you? Try not to screw up this challenge. You've done very well. Same in the previous one. You're good at this game. If you say so. I don't know if I should ask. But what are you doing with that crocodile? His leg was hurt, and I was bandaging it. I get along well with animals. We understand each other better. Okay. I wanted to ask you. Have you been getting along with everyone? Not very well. I think most people don't get too close because of my character. Even with the girls? No. They have their own group, and they are very close. That's what I said. It's dangerous that they might become an alliance. It is. If we lose, my vote will surely be for one of them. I think I would do the same. Well, it was good talking to you. See you later. Among all the unpleasant young people in this place, Aiden is one of those that I don't dislike so much. Sometimes he just seems like a good at two shoes. Carol, I don't know how long I'll be able to resist. Hang in there! We are close to the win! How come you're not tired? You're supposed to keep an eye on us for the duration of the challenge! Oh, that? I take several naps to keep cool, but Oliver keeps up with the challenge. After all, he already has experience enduring sleep. Right, Oliver? Oh, uh, yes, Mr. McLean. Bread and water is fine. <laughs> well, there are two campers left, and this challenge has gone on much longer than expected. Go ahead, Oliver. Why are you giving this to us? I brought you a drink so you can hydrate a little. Orange juice, 100% natural. You haven't eaten anything for many hours. Your breakfast will be here in a moment. It's about time! Good, I'm starving. Oh! Did I forget to mention that those juices also have strong sleeping pills? <laughs> With that, we reach the climax of this challenge. What? How dare you drug us without our consent? Oh no, I'm feeling it already. I went too far? No, Miss Crystal, it won't hurt them. Besides, we're all tired already. <laughs> I knew it! I'm good. Hey, girls! Can you get out of the cabin for a minute? What's up? There is something you need to know. What are you doing? Carol proposed to Aiden to vote for one. What's wrong with you? Are you serious, Aiden? Hey, everyone, calm down a bit. Is that true, Carl? I only told Aiden. It wasn't for him to come and tell everyone. I vote for Aiden. You asked for it. First vote, Aiden. 
second boat, James. Third boat, Carol. It's one boat for Aiden, one for James, one for Carol. Fourth boat, Carol. Fifth boat, the second person boated out from this venture team. Carol, three boats are enough. There is no need to read the last one. It's time for you to go. Whatever, I don't care. I hope you leave soon, Aiden. You are a traitor. I'm sorry. There's no way I'm reading anything. Get out of here. Carol? Hi guys, I'm glad to see you again. I feel bad that this reunion was not under better conditions, but the producers gave me the opportunity to get back in the game if I cooperated for a challenge. I hope that from now on, we can get along. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Since Carol won this challenge, she will not only return to the game, but she also has immunity for her and two people of her choosing. What? That is not fair. It's true, but I don't care. Well, Carol, who will you give immunity to? Hmm. Well, sorry guys, but the immunities go to Allie and Hunter. Yes, I needed it. Oh no. Well, Carol, Allie and Hunter have immunity today. The rest, one of you will be voted out tonight. I know that my reaction was somewhat immature at that moment. Carol! Listen, I'm really sorry about- Aiden, calm down! I will not vote for you, nor for James, so don't worry, okay? What are you up to, Carol? Me? Nothing. I am just trying to turn the page and start over. Do you really expect us to believe that you already forgot everything that happened? Just like that? Believe what you want, James. But my therapist says that resentment is a drag on the road to recovery. Well, for this vote, I joined the majority without causing any problems. But I haven't forgotten what Aiden and James did to me. As soon as I gain the trust of the others, I'm going to destroy them completely and make them leave this filthy camp. Fantastic! Just when I thought this camp couldn't get any more horrible. Oh. Hey Rhea, I just wanted to tell you that I'm very happy to be back in the game. I never spoke to you, and I would like to get to know you better. Oh, sure, Carol. I know what it's like to feel left out, so I won't let it happen to you. Thank you very much. It was very hard to be the second voted out after trying so hard. Why did you get bought out? James and Aiden. They manipulated everyone, had them under control, and even told lies about me to the others to get me out. Whoa, that must have been frustrating. Yes. That's why when I get the chance, I'd like to vote them out. I hope you can be on my side. You seem so nice. How come James and Aiden hate you that much? I don't know. I don't think they ever liked me. <laughs> spider! It's okay, Aiden. Despite their appearance, most spiders are harmless. See? You could hold it in your hand to overcome fear. Fine, I'll try. Well, it doesn't seem so bad. Thank you, Carol. Sure, whenever you want. Hey, we need to talk. 
It's rude to wait for a lady outside the bathroom, you know. Don't be silly. We both know you're up to something, so you'd better be careful. I don't know what you're talking about. I just came back to make up with everyone. Carol, I heard you tell Raya that you wanted me out. Ugh, yes. Well, and who is going to believe you after manipulating everyone? I won't let you to get away with it. There is not much you can do. Everything is already underway. Soon you and that boy will be out of my camp. James and Aiden. They manipulated everyone. That's why when I get the chance, I'd like to vote them out. How is a wolf helping you with that? I fed him yesterday. He's just returning the favor. You're very kind, Carol. You are too. You know, Rhea. You and I are not that different. Uh, what are you talking about? We don't fit in this place. And although they may seem friendly, in the end we are not a priority for them. Sooner or later, they will want to discard us. Surely you already noticed, right? It's not being so difficult to convince Rhea. She apparently has been insecure with her position here since she arrived. That can play in my favor. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to see things as they really are and to understand me. Of course I understand you. I feel like this since I arrived. And if we won't walk out here with great friends, we should at least try to do it with a million dollars. And I go alone? I have to win this challenge, you will put on the bandage, and you better pay attention to what I say. Yes, yes, I understand. I'll take the sled to the start line. I'll see you there. Lean more. We must go faster. If I do, I'll have my face on the ground. I don't care. Uh, hey, ow! Good luck, Aiden. Stop lying! What are you talking about? I know the truth! James, to the right! Hey, what's wrong with you, idiot? Oliver, to the left! What? I said left! Ow! Ha! Huh, now you have what you deserve! Ha ha ha! Victory is mine! Huh? There's something on my face! Ah! Calm down, idiot. It's just a spider. Get it off! Get it off! Ah! <sighs> <sighs> Thank goodness I had this helmet, and luckily I landed on something soft. You landed on me, idiot. My leg! I need medical attention. Oh, sorry. Where is the spider? It can't stay in the snow. I have to return it to it. No! You have to be kidding me. What do they know about medicine? Uh, I was a medic in the Vietnam War. Well, after doing a thorough check on her leg, it looks like she's not in condition to continue in the game. What? This is pure bull- I am sorry, Carol. The law forces us to transfer any contestant in a delicate condition to a specialized medical center. But I'm fine! I can recover fast! You can't do this to me again! I have many plans to fulfill! Marcus... Nina... Please take her out. No! You have to get rid of Aiden and James! They are... And what did you expect, idiot? Everyone hates you! Come on, Rhea! Give those cheaters what they deserve! I'll do it gladly. I won't let you cross that finish line, you moron. Why do those always get away with it? Oh, come here, little friend. 